So it's 37 degrees in Seattle today. I gotta get out of here with my watches. Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome back to Retro Watch. So I recently took a vacation down to Mexico and it was a wonderful trip with good food, beautiful scenery, and a lot of interesting history. But I was faced with a dilemma of which watches to bring. When I thought about this some more, I realized there were really three qualities that I was looking for. The watches needed to be durable, they needed to be functional, and they needed to be versatile because I knew I was doing a variety of activities. So I ended up choosing three watches. Let's go ahead and talk about them now. So the first watch that I brought is the Steinhardt Ocean One GMT. It has a GMT function, which allows you to keep track of a second time zone. And GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time. I'll set it here. Let's talk about the dimensions of this watch. It has a diameter of 39 millimeters. A 42 millimeter version is also available. Lug width of 20, lug to lug of 47, thickness of 12.5, a sapphire crystal, an ETA movement, and a price of five to $600. Now, I've modified the hands on this watch. Originally, it came with an hour hand that has a stem with this trapezoid shape which just looked kind of toyish to me. So I sourced some new hands that have a more traditional Submariner shape to them. And I think it looks much better. I have to admit that most of the time I don't even know what the GMT hand is pointing at. And I'm mostly just admiring these red accents against the matte black dial. I've also replaced the original bracelet with this Jubilee, which came from Steinhardt and was, I believe, about $100. So I'm going to contrast it with the Oyster that came on the watch here. Now the loom is pretty good, but the new hands do have a different color than the indices, which can get annoying sometimes. I wore this watch around town, sightseeing, going to museums, parks, and it served me quite well. At one point I did jump in a pool and I didn't have to think twice about it because the watch does have a claimed 300 meters of water resistance. So the next watch that I brought with me is the Casio W217. This is a nice travel companion because it has some additional functions. For example, an alarm as well as a stopwatch. Talking about the dimensions of this watch, it has a case diameter of 38 millimeters across, a lug width of 18 millimeters, lug to lug distance of 43, a thickness of just 10.75, a quartz movement where the battery should last a few years, 
and the price of just 20 bucks. I like the size of this watch because it sits between the all-famous F91W show on the right here and the G-Shock, which I think would just overwhelm my wrist. The watch originally came on this stiff, plasticky band, which I replaced with the canvas one that you see here. I pretty much turned to this watch anytime I knew I was doing something rough and tumble, like jumping into the pool or going hiking or biking. Basically any situation that I would be worried about damaging one of my more expensive watches. Just be aware that this watch does come in two different versions. This is the H9 version. The H1 version has a blue surround on the face. The backlight works quite well. It's not super uniform, but much better than the backlight on the F91W. So here's the last of the three contestants, and this is the Longines Dolce Vita. Now you might ask why bring this delicate little flower with me on a uh, vacation? Well, I was actually attending a wedding at the end of the trip, uh, so I needed something a little more dressy. As far as the dimensions of this watch, it has a width of 26 millimeters, a lug width of 19 millimeters, lug to lug distance of 42 millimeters. It has a thickness of just eight millimeters, a quartz movement, and I bought it for $825. Now this watch is billed as a women's watch. As you can see, on its original Jubilee style, very shiny chrome bracelet. It's quite pretty. However, when I put this ostrich strap on it, uh, it served quite well as a dressy men's piece and it has a sort of a Cartier uh, tank American kind of shape to it. What really drew me to this watch was the dial. It has this very delicate guilloche pattern about it, and I just find myself staring at it. The hands are also blued, uh, and that plays with the light quite well. So the funny story is uh, my buddy who was getting married uh, was getting dressed and the photographer asked him if he wore a watch and he didn't. And so I overheard, pulled this guy out of my pocket and slapped it on his wrist and really did my job as the best man. Well, guys, thanks for coming on that little vacation with me. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss future ones. And I just want to say that we're all going through a pretty precarious time in the world right now. So please take care of yourselves and those around you. And together, we will hopefully get through this soon enough. So until next time, take care.